on this edition of MC Gen Kim, Science of Measurements. A measurement must include the appropriate unit. In science, we use the metric system known as the International System of Units. Five base units that we will be looking at in this lab include length, which is measured in meters, mass, which is measured in kilograms, time, which is measured in seconds, temperature, which is measured in Kelvin, and amount of substance, which is measured in moles. Let's do a conversion example. If you have 15 grams and you want to convert to kilograms, then you must divide by 1,000 grams to give you 0.015 kilograms. Since we started out with two significant figures, then you should end with two significant figures. Scientific notation is an exponential notation used to denote extremely small or extremely large numbers. Let's do an example of converting a standard number to scientific notation and from scientific notation to a standard number. This number converted to scientific notation is 3.2005 times 10 to the fifth. The fifth exponent is obtained because when you start from the very right of the last number and work your way left until you are in between the first and second number, you have moved five decimal places. In the original number, there are four significant digits so you should end with four significant digits. This number converted to a standard number is 0 0.50305. When you start at where the decimal used to be and move left six decimal places, then this is the correct standard notation for this number. There are three significant digits in the first number, so there will be three significant digits in the final answer. The metric system uses a set of prefixes that you should be aware of. These include kilo, which is abbreviated K, deci, which is abbreviated D, centi, which is abbreviated C, milli, which is abbreviated M, micro, which is abbreviated mu, and nano, which is abbreviated N. For example, if you have 405 millimeters and you want to convert to meters, then you must divide 405 by 10 to the 3 because there are 10 to the 3 millimeters in 1 meter. Your answer will be 0 0.405 meters. Your answer should have three significant digits. Let's measure this eraser. We will be measuring in centimeters, which means that the proper way to record centimeters is to two decimal places because rulers have a 0 0.1 centimeter least count. So you have to estimate the last digit. The eraser is estimated to be 5.95 centimeters, giving it a total of three significant digits. For the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, the least count is one milliliter. Therefore, the amount of water in this picture is measured to be 60.0 milliliters. Make sure to read from the bottom of the meniscus, which is the bottom point of the curvature of the water. For the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, the least count is 0 0.1 milliliters. Therefore, the amount of water in this picture is measured to be 8.51 milliliters according to the meniscus. For the thermometer, the least count is 1 degree Celsius. Therefore, the temperature of this thermometer in this picture is measured to be 24.1 degrees Celsius. Remember that you want to be in SI units, so you need to convert the degrees Celsius to Kelvin.